Now that you know some of the techniques that can be used to handle changes with classes, let's take a look at how we can use our DB context to perform link queries and some of the different features that are available with Language Integrated Query. Language Integrated Query provides a great way to perform queries against objects or in the case of code first, we can query a database. And you've already seen me do some link queries, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about it and what features are provided. So a link query is kind of like writing a SQL query if you've ever done that before. It's a little bit backwards looking, but it really does a very simple thing for us, and that is it generates a SQL statement. And this is a very simple SQL statement it would generate in this example. In other examples, though, it can do very complex type things. And so ultimately it boils down to it's very productive once you learn how link, lambdas, and something called extension methods work. So we have a link query here, and you can see that we're going to say from E, and we can name that whatever we want. We can call it imp, we call it foo for that matter, in context employees. Let's go ahead and order by last name, and notice E is used there, and then let's select that employee. So it's going to select all the employees. As it does that, each employee goes into E, it's going to do an order by and then select it. Now if you actually turned on something like SQL Profiler, which is a way to watch your SQL queries as they come into the database, you'd see that this actually generates a SQL statement that has an order by clause and then it would automatically fill those into our list of employee here. So I'm actually taking this query which returns an object called an iQueryable. An iQueryable is an object that you can even continue to query. I could pass it out of this method as an iQueryable and another method could tack on another query to it. Uh, but in this case I don't want to do any more queries. I just want to say hey go ahead and get this data from the database and let's get it now and put it into a list. So that would be an, ex an example of a link query. Now there's different ways we can do this though. Um, I could come in and also do a lambda expression. And lambdas in many cases are actually my favorite way to do it because oftentimes the, con the uh, syntax is more compact. So a lambda would look something like this. We'd say context.employees.orderby. And then what I'm going to do is I need to say what to order by. So it's going to let me pass in each employee. Again, I'm just going to name it E, but I could easily put foo there. It doesn't really matter. And then I could say let's order by foo dots. And the reason it knows the different fields is we are, after all, doing an order by on employees. So the order by actually knows the collection we're ordering, and that's how it strongly types. So we could say foo dot last name as an example uh, to list. So that would be an example of something you'll definitely see a lot with ASP.NET Web Apps, especially modern ones, where we could use a lambda. Now I probably wouldn't put foo. I would do something like e or imp or you know whatever you like there. Now I'm just going to comment that one out, but that is a lambda expression. Now another nice thing you can do is aggregates with link, and an aggregate is a way to do things like min, max, average, count, uh, things like that. So let's say we wanted to also have a method here that returns an integer, and we'll call it get employee count. And in here, all I have to do is say return context employees count. Now you'll notice this kind of what I call the red running box. Uh, normally methods just have the box, but you'll notice all these guys, except for, uh, well, like SQL query here does not, have this little arrow pointing down. That's an extension method, anytime you see that. So we'll say count, and then return that out. Now we could also uh, go in and we could do averages, we could get min, we could get max, uh, we can do all types of things that way as well. Uh, to do that type of thing, we could go in, for instance, and say, um, let's select the employee, and let's grab the employee, uh, let's grab the ID here, and then we could say, hey, let's go get the max of that and return it. Or maybe from all the employees that are returned, let's go ahead and grab the average of those makes it very, very easy to work with. Now average, the reason it's airing out, you can see it returns a double because of course average, you might get some decimal points. Uh, and we could do min, we could do max, we can do count, we can do all that type of stuff. So this is another lambda expression. So we're gonna say go select the ID from our employees and then do the average. 
and that would be an example there but let's go ahead and we'll just change it back to count so this shows an example of using extension methods we have an example of doing a lambda and then we have an example of doing a link query so that's a quick overview but that'll definitely help get you started with this because this is the type of stuff we'll be doing against our code first db context